Hey everyone, welcome back to Ash Week. Who's hot this week? Horoscopes for the week of September something. <laughs> I wrote it on the computer today and I didn't have the printout. You guys know I'm on the road here, right? September 4th to September 8th, 2017. That I write for the Echo newspaper. You can also be at you. Cam Loops BC. Hey everyone, I'm Sunny. Things are a little different today. So as we're cruising in today, I want to mix up the horoscopes just to let you guys know. There's blah blah. You can um, speed ahead. It's a video. Don't piss me off about this one. <laughs> So just to let you guys know, I'm going to give you a little speed on what's going on with the channel here and what's going on. So I want to add, like, and Mercury's retrograde still, right? So we might switch it up. But I really do like the overview. For me, the overview is extremely important in horoscopes because like, I'm a professional astrologer, right? <laughs> and the overview is all my reading. So I'm going to cut and paste the overview and pop them on the other videos. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, then go watch someone else's videos. Or if you fast forward. But the reason it's in, it is important important for everyone because not everyone's sign uh, lines up exactly as the horoscopes you know cruise along so but if you know the overview of what's going on then you can adjust it and you can calibrate the entire reading for yourself man <laughs> so like that's why it's so important so uh, you know for example if the sun is in the well, sun's in Virgo right no no forget the sun yeah, the sun's in Virgo. This means that it's illuminating the Virgo area of your chart, right? It's illuminating the Virgo area of your chart, or the chart where the sun is, in a Virgo-y kind of way. It doesn't mean it's illuminating Virgo stuff. It means it's illuminating in a Virgo kind of way. And it's because I don't have everybody's chart, you're going to have to calibrate it yourself to figure out what part of that chart is being illuminated and as we move forward then you can super accurately predict what's going on by looking at different kind of you know horoscopes here on the channel or on YouTube or in your newspaper or whatever and guys just remind you guys I do write horoscopes for the newspapers up here in Canada right and so you do all that action and then you can have an accurate horoscope it's pretty you know it's, it's how it works so it's what I do and every astrologer reads a little differently <clears throat> and my horoscopes are I write them differently for each time of the week so, uh, for each day of the week like these are the weekly horoscopes they're different than the Wednesday hump day horoscopes live stream on Wednesday hump day and they're definitely different super definitely different from the Friday love scopes which tell everybody who's gonna be lucky in love for the weekend but the, the overview you should be able to calibrate what's gonna happen for yourself personally and that's the whole point of the thing unless you like want to know what the ass is going on with everyone else in which case just like I don't know, open your curtains and have a look. <laughs> I don't know, do whatever you want. All right, so that's the action. That's what we're doing with the overview. I'm still going to try and keep them short, but like, it ain't going to happen, so it ain't going to happen. All right, next, what else is going on? So we have some new stuff that's going on with the channel. Obviously, I'm a professional astrologer, and I know that's not obvious. You know, I watch YouTube too, and I know that's sure fuck ain't obvious. Right? Well, ad revenue, right? Whatever. <laughs> and so I know that's sure not obvious, but if you want a personal reading, just message me at the email above, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible, and we'll set it all up. Just to remind you guys, the readings aren't free, of course, so stop emailing me for free readings because it ain't going to happen. It's just a waste of both of our times. <laughs> and then the um, and I and it does take a while for me to get back to everyone. So like, but you know, send me a reading, and I'll you know I'll get back to a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and we'll set it up. Uh, for those who don't know, the readings are about $125 right now, and you get your natal chart which is your birth chart which is no big deal it looks like oh it doesn't look like that it, lo <laughs> it looks like the um anyways you can get that anywhere for free on the internet so that's not a really big deal but you do get your kepler report which is a seriously in-depth uh ast astrological report that you really can't get anywhere else on the internet and it's way more in-depth than almost anything else you can find and so that comes along with it and um what else do you get you get your two to three month uh, transit forecast so you'll know what's going on in the next little while what's coming up and you get a, an, a one hour session with me via Skype or the telephone whoever you want to do it and um, <laughs> snapchat what's up what's up <laughs> the moon's in like <laughs> no, we ain't good to do a snapchat bad <laughs> so like well, don't that's it and we'll probably do a Skype session and you can um, ask me as many questions as you like and some of the fun stuff people like to ask are like if your chart, how it fits in with someone else's chart, and they like to see, you know, relationship compatibility, potential, potential for love, potential for marriage. I know that should be the same thing, but it's not. <laughs> Especially, and it's not in astrology, it's not the same thing either. And, you know, for business or work or money or kids or whatever you want to know, just let me know and I'll look at it. 
in addition to all of that, I've been busy as ass, man. But like, you know, uh, things are going to slow down a little bit for the next two weeks before they like totally ramp up again. And so I'll, um, I'm going to, there's some people asking me for, to record the sessions, to, uh, not session, to do a recording in a reading, like to write it down or record it and then send to them because they can't really get online on Skype or they can't really do a phone thing. So I'm going to start doing that. I was been, I've been too busy to do that for some reason. You'd think the same amount of time, but it's not really. And um, recording stuff takes a long time because like I own the freaking music studio and it's kind of my crap, so I don't ass it up, you know? Like it takes a little more time for me. You know, if it's like <laughs> I use expensive microphones, don't have any sock, <laughs> wind socks, but I use expensive microphones, you know, it's different. So whatever, who cares? So that's the action with that. All right. So if you want a reading, message me above. That's what you get. That's how much it costs. And that's the action. We're going to get to the overview in a sec, right? To so chill out. Six minutes. These videos are going to drag today. All right. What else is going on? We have a bunch of live streams coming up, you know? Myself and my super sexy little crap. I've been talking about different ideas and different things to do with the channel. And it's a lot of fun. And I used to have my own broadcast, right? And I do write for the newspapers. I am a professional artist I am the love hypnotist you know that's <laughs> and uh, I do want to miss whatever whatever man all right here we go let's get down to thing yeah and I'm like I I can jump really high you know I run really fast it's stupid like spider-man spider-man he's like <sighs> okay whatever okay all right so that's the action on that it's a little bit more going on with the channel now and so we're gonna have a bunch of live streams coming up. We'll see. Have to see how my, it plays out in September when Mercury goes direct and my schedule returns to normal, m a more normal kind of thing. But as of right now, I do the weekly horoscopes on Monday, right? I gotta pump those out really fast. I, and I have a deadline for the newspaper, so I can't really ask that up. But like, we're gonna do some things. Like on Tuesday, the plan is to have Tarot Tuesday, and we'll do really short three-card. Uh, tarot readings for all of the sunny siders out there and everyone who wants to tune in and they're gonna be uh, you know really nice and easy peasy five bucks Doo -doo -doo -doo. three cards five minutes ask your questions let's see what comes up and everyone who wants to tune in and check that out can by all means tune in and check that out on Wednesday we're gonna have the hump day horoscopes and that'll be a, that's always a lot of fun and yeah look at those horoscopes a little differently and it'll give you a little energy a little bump midway through the week to tell you what's going on for the rest of the week and I wrote it all down there on the computer and on Thursday, there's something I wanted to do for a long, long time, but Thursday's busy. Thursday's a full teaching day for me with all some very long time students who I care about tremendously. People who've been there with me for years, who've taken care of me, who helped me start the studio. These guys are, the kids are winning tons of awards. Last year, they just cleaned up at Kiwanis. They cleaned up at Music Fest. You know, they cleaned up at some kind of weird Vancouver music thing that I don't really understand because like I'm not from there. But like, it was just amazing. And so. I take it and you know Ben is there you know like Ben is the you know super famous surgeon to the stars and he's um he's my you know been my longest student he's one of my anyways there's a video of him he's always taking care of me you know <laughs> and, then it's, um, and so he's you know he's a really good guy and so but on Thursdays for the longest time I wanted to do football picks for the Americas and so on Thursdays on the live stream, I don't know what time, we'll probably just sit around and do some football picks. Probably may or may not be into it. It doesn't, you know, whatever. You can ask me questions too and we'll see what's going on. Maybe if that doesn't work, you can ask me questions about some astrology, uh, about some celebrities and their kind of stuff. That could be a little fun. And so that's the action on that. And then on Friday, Friday we have the love horoscopes, right? The love scopes come out on Friday to say, who? Who's hot in love for Friday night? Because like you gotta know who's hot in love. Because if you ain't hot in love, you might as well go grocery shopping in your underwear and just like chill out and don't worry about it. Because like ain't nobody gonna love your ugly ass on a Friday, so like it don't really matter. Unless you like pretty yourself up and stand it. Sonny, how come nobody love me? You should wait till Sunday afternoon, baby. And the air world's gonna be your oyster. Crack that action. All right. So that's Friday. But on Friday, I really want to start interviewing people again I used to interview so many people I had so much fun for a nice chunk of my life and so on Friday and I might change it it's gonna be fan Friday and some of them really cool uh, sunny siders out there who have some really great experiences and ideas there are other tarot readers out there you know there are other psychics out there but you don't have to do that there's some people they have been sending messages saying they've had out-of-body experiences and lucid dreaming and you know some law of attraction guys and some other you know new agey bullshit motherfuckers so like if you're into that kind of stuff then and you want to be 
on the show here, then uh, simply message me and we will, um, and I'll do it. We'll have it on Fan Fridays. So Fridays, Love Scopes and Fan Fridays. And, holy geez, 10 minute ad. Fast forward. <laughs> and that's the action, guys. So that's the action for what's coming up on the channel. Quick recap. So some Mondays I gotta do the horse sculpts, right? But on Tuesday, Tarot Tuesday, right? It's five bucks for three cards, really quick. And then on Wednesdays, the Hump Day horoscopes. It's a little different, you know, we look at uh, your emotional state. On Thursdays, I'm gonna do the football thing. Uh, f uh, you know, do my football picks on Thursdays. And I should do them like later, but no, I'll do them Thursdays, I don't have time on the weekend. And then also on Thursdays, we might do some celebrity gossip as well, find out how charts line up with each other. I know my sexy little crab loves looking at that stuff. She's really good at it too. Like I've never seen, like I'm, uh, I studied, right? Like I'm studied, I study, <laughs> I'm good. But like, she's like good. <laughs> like it's really neat to watch. And plus I'm in love, she does a really, uh, she's really smart. I really respect her. I'm an M, obviously I'm gonna like Smarties. So, so it's Thursday and on Friday we have Fan Fridays and do 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 the sunny and the so much. The love horoscopes. And that's about it. Everybody cool with that? That's the blah blah for what's going on with the channel. Thanks for sitting through. That's the action. Let's get down to the let's get down to some horoscopes here. Here we go, everyone. Here's the overview for the week of September 4th to September 8th. Do 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 do. Okay, big news this week. I think. <laughs> Let me check on the the clock here. The obviously I think let me just check and see what's going on here. Frig, it's so difficult. Plus, there's no printing stuff out here, so I gotta look on this computer. See that? That's what the chart looks like. <laughs> so, just to double check everything, Mer it looks like Mercury's going direct, which is awesome, but we're gonna be in the shadow period, so it's not like super awesome. But Mercury's gonna go direct. I didn't write about that. I'm gonna talk about it to on the hump day horse, because we didn't write about it. And, but I did, for some of the guys, I wrote about something that's a little like because some of the guys were really getting um attacked by this next transit for a long time and it really hurt them and that's saturn saturn's going direct so mercury's going direct and saturn's going direct and that's some really 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 sunny like shut up some really big stuff so let's do this action and tell you what's going on okay so for this week sun's in virgo all right so what so it's illuminating whatever wherever Virgo is in your chart which isn't really a big deal so if you're a Pisces the Sun is shining a spotlight on your astro sector of partnerships so everyone is going to be looking at your partners if you're a Virgo the Sun's shining right on you so everybody's gonna be checking you out Virgo but it's not such a weird deal because it's your birthday right like duh it's not a big deal and for everyone you know or like for for um, Leo this is a time everybody's gonna look at your spotlight on your money which isn't really a big deal because like it's the sun. The same kind of nonsense happens the same time every year with the sun. All right, so no big deal. But here's the action on some other stuff. Oh, I didn't write this one down. We have a full moon. Okay, so that's the action with that kind of stuff. Mercury is going direct. That means communication is going to be restored. Thinking is going to return to normal. Uh, transportation is going to return to normal. So instead of transportation delays, like your car getting smashed up and stuff, Transportation is returning to normal, which is not so weird because everybody's going to be driving the kids back to school. So that's transportation going back to normal. Like, you got to do what you got to do. And then communication is back to normal. It's roll calls, right? And, you know, everybody, once again, everybody's going back to school. So everything's returning to normal. Not that normal is good. I just said normal. <laughs> okay. Also, Saturn is going to go direct. So guys like Sagittarius, that's a big deal. You know, all the planets mean different things to different signs. And if Saturn, like, is not the biggest deal for like a Capricorn because Saturn rules Capricorn. So Capricorns like, they're like Saturn-y anyways, you know, they're in the control scene and they want to do their action and Saturn just kind of helps that along. I'm just adjusting the camera guys, just like you didn't know. <laughs> so Saturn, Capricorn's got a good vibe with Saturn, but like Sagittarius is not cool with Saturn. Saturn controls. You know, there's good to Saturn too, right? Maybe I'll do a video on it. But Saturn controls. Sagittarius is the opposite of control. So, Sagis had it really difficult this last year. And I know my sister's a Sag. And not that my sister has any trouble because she's like good looking and she's a rich husband and she's got good looking kids and she don't really have that much problems in life. But like, but whatever. <laughs> the control is set in for Sag. 
but control is starting to free up again. And here's the action. So when Saturn went retrograde, we re revisited a whole bunch of themes that uh, happened at the beginning of the year, and we we're like, uh, 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 Sunny, uh, why, why, why? Because Saturn's retrograde, man. Okay, and then it's now moving forward. So stuff that's happening in the spring that happened in the spring is going to speed forward again. So if you fell in love with the spring, well then play, you're going to fall in love again. So, you know, love doesn't usually, lightning doesn't usually strike twice, but, you know, expect some hearts to skip some beats. And so for signs like Scorpio, your money problems are not exactly going to free up, but they're going to loosen up and you're going to get back to making some money again. Not like a lot of money because Saturn's still there, but it's not taking away as much as it used to be. So things are going to free up and things are going to be, things are going to get better. For Gemini, that's your astral sector of partnerships. So in the last couple of months, your partners have been just evaporating like faster than like pasteurized milk. I don't know what the hell evaporates fast. And then so... That's what's been happening. And for Sagittarius, it's the worst because Sag wants freedom and Sa Saturn is control. So that's been really difficult. It's been really difficult on Sagittarius. And so that's, so that's the action with that. Depending on where it falls in your chart, wherever you've been feeling controlled and restricted, that's going to liberate and things are going to get better. And every day it's going to get better and better and better until it moves over into Capricorn where it kind of likes to hang out a little bit. So. Everything's not going to be super cool, but it's going to definitely not super jiggy cool. <laughs> but everything is going to be a little better, and that's the action on that. All right, Saturn's moving forward. Mercury communication is getting better. You're going to revisit things. Transportation's getting better. You know, it works like this. If you were like a shitty driver and you're like, "Hey, man, I didn't get no accidents," that's pretty cool, right? Mercury's going to direct you, a shitty driver again. Okay, <laughs> like that's just how it works. Like I said, back to normal, right? Whatever your ass normal is, that's what's happening, and that's the action on that. And that is pretty much the overview, guys. Venus is in Leo, big deal. You know what? We'll talk about that more on the love horoscopes. And Mars is in Virgo, and we'll talk about that on the hump day horoscopes on Wednesday. And that is the action. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful week. Thanks for pumping through the, uh, the overview, guys. And I will, uh, I'll see you on the live stream. All right, here we go, guys. You just heard the overview, and here's some more blah, blah. This is for specifically for Cancer. All right, Cancer, here we go. There's a full moon happening, and it's in your astral sector of things at a distance, okay? It means stuff close to home. The spotlight's on stuff close to home, but something is going to be revealed to you at a distance. I don't know what it is, what kind of business you're doing at a distance, what kind of friends you have at a distance, what kind of family or lovers, or like, I don't know what else there is in life, like, like, Space aliens, that's at a distance, I guess. This is not really your astral specter of space aliens, but like, the, nobody gives a shit about that, okay? All right, okay, so that's the deal. That's the first thing, and it's a big thing. So your astral sector of distance, something is gonna be revealed. You've been wanting to do something, and it's getting highlighted, and now's the action, and now's the time. In addition to all of that, you know, you watch for transportation problems, Cancer. Watch for accidents, okay? That's some serious stuff. Anyways, that's what's happening. Your astral sector of communication is highlighting. You might, words have been, you know, might have been eluding you. You might have been saying one thing but meaning something else. But like, that's kind of normal sometimes for cancer. Anyways, on top of all of that, where's the good news? Mercury's going direct in your finances, cancer. The hemorrhaging is stopped. You're gonna start making money now. I know you, you've been in a financial sec cycle for the last two weeks, except Mercury's been going retrograde. So you should be should have been collecting and attracting money. Unfortunately, the money you've been attracting is money that's already owed to you, money that you already made. So like it wasn't like a big deal, and you were like, oh, like I'm supposed to get that. I'm supposed to get that. All right. And then you know your thinking is this. So anything you tried new was getting kind of messed up. But Mercury's moving forward. So like not like speeding forward and you're going through the shadow period right now so themes that you just went through themes that you just messed up thing all of this pertaining to money you got to clean it all up right now and everything is all you got to do is clean up your finances cancer and everything is going to be really good you know that plan that you had that you thought was a really good idea but it didn't work out try it again <laughs> i don't see anything wrong with that i'm like seriously just try it again and um Everything should be really cool. In addition to all of that, oh man, cancer, your health, it took a beating. But like, it's all going to get better. Not like super better right now, but it's going to get better, all right? 
nice and chill 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 and I don't know if this is a good thing or bad thing but I'm gonna tell you what's going on anyways so your day-to-day -day life hasn't been very good that means stuff's been taken away from your routine so the things that you used to do on a regular basis used to do on a regular basis all right Wow cancer I'm just looking at this and I'm like I don't know what to say last year when uh, this was happening in Scorpio you had some really bad things happen to you romantically like bad as ass man I can't believe like that's just horrible stuff happened to you romantically and now it's your your health took a major beating and your day-to-day -day action took a, and your work your job took a hit holy smokes and then recently it took another major hit but it's starting to clear up and it's gonna go chug 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 it's gonna be better again and uh, but in the next two months like towards the end of the year like November December it's gonna go into your astral sector of partnerships and it's gonna lay a beating on your partnerships so just giving you a heads up cancer just plan for success they say if you don't plan for success you're planning for failure for failure if you don't plan for success you're planning for failure but I say if you don't plan for success you're like whatever you know sometimes good things happen to bad people sometimes bad things happen to good people sometimes good things happen to good people cancer your relationships are gonna take a hit in the next couple of months right now your health is gonna your health is gonna get better your health is gonna get better that's a good thing around Christmas time your relationships are gonna take a hit and that's gonna last for a while and that's the action is that the action what else is going on anything good happening yeah, something is going to be revealed from a distance. Spirituality, higher learning. Cancers wanting to go to. Cancers are trying to get into university, and you don't know if you're getting in or not yet. You're probably going to get in. <laughs> you know, that's the deal, and that's the deal with that. And that's the deal with that. And that's the deal. From the sunny side, I'm Sunny, wishing all cancers the absolute best of a super beautiful week, and I will see you guys soon.